Hello again, everybody. It's uh, late Sunday night, early morning, Monday morning, however you want to look at it, uh, just after midnight. And uh, I just wanted to bring you uh, a little family update and uh, another blessing on the family. You know, for the last 10 months or so, we've been living in a motel because it's the only thing I can afford here um, on my work schedule, the income that I'm making now. Uh, and it's the only situation where I know all the bills are taken care of and I can afford it. I'm living in w within my means, and even that's been a struggle. So I've been looking and looking and looking for a place to live. Now, um, in about three weeks, they close down the units that I'm in for weekly rentals, and the, they only do nightly in the other portion of the inn, or the motel, rather. So that means I have to be out in three weeks. So I've been under a lot of stress. Um, because although we've barely kept our head above water in, in a couple of weeks there, that's because of your support that we were even able to do that um, and some other local support with friends, loans, whatever. Uh, it's There's no bank account for deposits and all this. So I've been under like this big burden. And um, see, a lot of what I do is, is by faith, you know. Uh, I try to have patience, although you always worry. But I know that there's so many more that are worse off than I am. That I, I, I don't feel justified if I sit around and whine about me or worry. I just have faith that my needs will be cared for as long as I'm walking a straight path and doing my best and giving back on a level that I can. So, uh, Saturday, I was just hanging out, having a cigarette. I don't smoke inside. And... A couple doors down from me is a man that has lived here for 15 years. He's an elderly man um, on medications and lives alone. He has a caretaker on the weekends, but he's had several close calls because of mix-ups and medicines. And anyway, I overheard him asking the taxi driver uh, how much he got per mile. Um, and I instantly thought, you know, I, I need to help give this guy a ride or something because the taxi come on old guy disability whatever his pension is I don't know his finances but I know he's not rolling large you know a humble guy nice guy likes my boys he compliments me on them so anyway as I'm sitting here thinking about approaching him to say hey can I help you I didn't want to do it in front of the taxi guy, you know, make him feel like I was cutting his throat or taking his pay, because certainly that wasn't what it was about. The gentleman looked over and he said, hey, he asked me to give him a ride down to uh, Newmarket, which is about 45 minute hour ride south of me, Monday morning to get his medication because nobody's available to help him. And he's only supposed to drive short distances. So I said, absolutely. And I wasn't going to tell anybody about that little give back or trying to support my neighbor because I don't like to brag when I do little things for people because people have done so much for me it just doesn't it's not my style but I'm telling you about it tonight because when we live our lives like that willing to take care of our neighbor and take care of our own we are taken care of a few hours after I agreed to take the man I was at Hannaford's and I ran into somebody that I haven't seen for 11 or 12 years I knew him for a couple of years in Denmark, Maine when I lived there. Decent guy, Rob. He actually uh, worked for me on a couple of projects. And um, so we're chatting, and uh, I knew he owned his piece of property in Denmark and that his mom lived next door. But what I didn't know is that uh, a few years back, her place burned down, and he was away, and his place was vandalized, and now he lives in a, in a trailer on his mother's property that he just purchased, and his lot is vacant, and he's struggling because there's no work, and they're just barely, him and his wife just barely get by. We'll live humble lives, but they just... So anyway, the long and the short of it is, we're moving to Denmark in a week, and uh, we're all really at peace with that. I w went out and introduced the kids to Rob today because they were just babies when he knew us and knew the family when it was uh, my wife was still with us and so he knows our background uh, he's a connoisseur of similar things as I am um, if I should decide to get my medical marijuana card and grow my own marijuana on his property that'd be fine uh, he's gearing up to do the same by the law um, so anyway, what we're going to be doing in a week, he has two unoccupied rooms in his house. 
we're going to move into those two rooms, share his house for a period of time until we can move our own mobile home onto his other lot, which is right next door, um, and at which point we would finally be in our own home with uh, very low rent. Uh, rent that I can afford. And the big deal about it is that we missed this whole year of having a garden. Can't have a garden at a motel. I missed a lot of time of uh, one of the things I want to do on YouTube and for you guys is not only wake you up with the information but give you the tools of the stuff I'm talking about that you need to be prepared for. Little things, you know, like I was able to do in Kentucky with the chicken coops or the earth batteries or, or these home things. You know, you go out in your yard and you, you pick up some stuff and you do something with it. Though I want to start doing more of that. And I have not been able to do that for over a year. So um, this is a big deal to me. Denmark's a wonderful town. I loved living there when I lived there before. And, um, you know, it's close to my work. It's a 30-minute ride, 40-minute ride, whatever it is. Another big deal is it also put the kids uh, in a much better school district. The local school district here sucks. It's been an uphill battle for over a year. Uh, I know it has been for some for decades. And I'm quite honestly disgusted that um, more people haven't stood up with me to address these issues. Uh, I can't fight the machine by myself. And I'm pretty disgusted when people won't stand up and fight their own cause when they have somebody to help them. Um, the theme at the local SAU 9 here is that we don't do things by rule or law or protocol. It's more perception now. And the teacher's perception is what is relevant. And I can't function in that society, and my kids certainly can't either. Um, I won't get into details about it because it's all just a fucking mess. If anybody in this district, even after I move away, needs help and wants to finally stand up and, and fight this machine, I'll be glad to take the ride over here and fight along with you. But anyway, my kids are going to be in a better school, Freiburg Academy, which is a private school. But if you're in the district, you go there for free. It's public, private, a very good school. I've heard only good things about it. And so... Um, Anyway, today when I took the kids out, a big part of my decision is their comfort level also. I mean, you got to hunker down and do what you need to do, but as a family unit, if you're not all at peace with the decision, then it's not going to work for everybody. Uh, it's a hard balance. Uh, and when I mentioned the possibility yesterday to the kids, they weren't totally against it, but they weren't cheering for joy either, you know, because that means uh, not hanging out with their friends here locally. Um, so anyway, we went over today and they are psyched. They are so happy. They will be able to have animals if we decide to. If we want to have some chickens or a pig, we can do that. We'll, we'll be able to do that. Um, you know, if there's major storms and outages, uh, we can move a wood stove in. There's one on the property. It's not inside, but it could be, uh, I mean, in less than an hour, that could be inside and keeping us warm if there were emergency situations. Uh, there's water sources, it's a beautiful piece of property, a lot of wildlife, hunting, uh, snowmobile trails, four-wheeler trails, uh, all those things. So that's the deal, that's the family update. Finally, uh, a big load off my shoulders. I have been under stress since we moved in here because if I get sick for a week, I can't pay the rent. I, I, I've been living on that edge or not being able to take a pause. If I want to take a week off... There's a week of lull at work, and I just want to take a week off and focus on the website, which I drastically need to do. I haven't done any editing in months, and I, and I just, everything's jammed me up too much. Maybe most of it's mental, but it just hasn't been done, and it needs to be done. Um, but again, there hasn't been a lot of peace in my life. I'm always on edge, always pushing myself to maintain what I need to maintain as a dad, and trying to maintain and further the causes I fight online with you guys. Uh, and so now a little bit of peace. I guess that's why it's after 12:30, and I'm just kind of chilling out. I finally, I'm in a peaceful place. Uh, I can see some, you know. And this is the other thing. You guys know that I really want to take my activism and take that on the road, but I still want to have an anchor in the country. Um, this will give me the opportunity because once we, while we're sharing his house, the rent is going to be 
just slightly less than I'm paying now, but with my travel costs, it'll work out about the same. So that's awesome. Once we're able to move on to the lot, my monthly cost will drop even more because there'll just be a lot fee and then I'll pay my own utilities. Um, right now they'll be included obviously because they're already on. Um, the one thing that there may be a slight hiccup in radio shows, I think it's going to transfer smoothly. Rob has to get the internet out there. He doesn't have it now. He's not an internet guy, but he's going to get it set up uh, so that I can continue hopefully without any missed shows or anything else but uh, by next weekend I'll know for sure that everything's going off as far as the internet um, and maybe I can make some other accommodations uh, if it doesn't work out there to get the service on in time but either way if there is a hiccup it'll only be for a very very short time as far as um, videos uh, again it'll only be a few days uh, and if I need to if there's something I really need to get up to you guys I can always just fly into the library and upload it from there so um, that's cool that's that's really cool and uh, well I think that's about it I mean there's a lot I could talk to you about but um, I'm gonna upload this in the morning while I'm taking my trip to bring Frank to uh, get his medications I'll upload it and then when I get back I will quickly share it to Twitter or Facebook before I head off to work uh, I'm gonna start Monday late but Mondays always suck anyway, and uh, so remember, by the time you see this, it'll be tonight, Hacker News, 6 o'clock, UCY TV, catch up on all the latest cybersecurity news, the hacking, the whacking, and all the craziness that's going on in the cyber world, um, especially smartphone users, you need to be keeping an eye on that show, so I'll put the link to the show below, um, that's at 6 o'clock East Coast time, if you missed the show, there are free archives, you can listen to it, within minutes of the show ending, the archive is available, and it's up there for well over a month. So there's no reason to uh, not know what's going on with your cybersecurity. Anyway, much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.